Hey guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a gold cut crease and I got my idea from a picture on Instagram. You can't really see it, but like looks like that. But um saw it on Ofra Cosmetics, so I thought I would try it out. And I've never done a cut crease on my channel before. I don't know if I've ever done one in my whole entire life, so this might not end well, but we shall see. So to start off, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. If I can open it. <laughs> I haven't used this thing in a while. Let's just see if there's anything left. Okay. I'm mostly just going to put this in the place that I get sheeny. Not shiny. Shiny. <laughs> okay. It's like raining out right now. So I'm sorry if you can hear it. Whatever. Why did I put on? Should I start on my eyes first? I'll do the eye makeup first. Okay. Just gonna close that primer and pick up the eyeliner I just dropped. Okay. So to start off, I'm just going to on my eyes. I'm just going to be using. Some concealer, this is the Maybelline one, and the shade Fair because that's my skin tone. This is probably too dark for me right now, but <laughs> whatever. And I'm just gonna take a brush from these cosmetics. I actually want to try out the BH Cosmetics concealer. I've heard that it's like full coverage from Laura Lauren Lee. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay. So next I'm just going to be taking this angled brush. These. So I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics Urban Luxe 99 eyeshadow pink color palette. I wasn't even looking at it. I hope that's... Yeah, it's the Urban Luxe palette. Okay, and I just need to... This palette has like 80,000 colors, so I don't know which ones are matte or not. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking this color right here. It's like a yellow toned matte color. And I'm just going to be taking that all over just to set that concealer. And I think this palette would definitely be good for beginners. If you're like just starting out with makeup. Because it's not like a $30 eyeshadow palette. It's not like high end or anything. But it also has pretty good quality colors. So... And it has like mostly neutrals, but if you want to get into something fun, he has some fun colors. So yeah. So I'm just gonna I don't usually use this palette. I don't know. I need a oh, I probably need to log back into it. Okay. So I need a neutral shade. Is that matte? It might not be bad. Might be bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna be taking this warm toned kind of light brown color for my transition, and I'm just going to put that a little above the crease since we are doing a cut crease, and just kind of put that where you want it. My iPod keeps going into sleep mode. And it's really annoying. So 
Okay. And next, I'm going to be taking the coat I just used. Okay, I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be taking this shade. It's like a really warm brown color. I think I just took the right one. I probably didn't, but whatever. Just that. A little above the green. I'm just going to keep layering that on until it gets kind of deep. Let's just see if I can see myself in my mirror for once in my life. Okay. This is like the first crease I've ever done in my whole entire life. So far it's not too bad. So I haven't started the crease part. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to be taking a kind of more detailed brush, okay. and I'm going to be taking a dark brown once I swatch them and figure out which one I want to use. Wait, which one did I just... Okay. I keep forgetting which one I'm swatching. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna be taking this one right here I think I just took the right one okay and I'm just going to be putting that much much lower so it's like you're doing a smoky eye but you're leaving like your whole lid out of it going to be taking a much much more tiny little teeny brush and I'm going to be taking a darker shade of brown I just put that right in the crease And kind of outline all the smokiness. Bring it kind of up a little. The lighting just got like really bad. Sorry if you can hear my brother running around, he's a psychopath. I'm just gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. You can use whatever one you have, and I'm just gonna be cutting out my crease. I think this one will be good for cut creases just because it has the like brush tip. But you can use whatever concealer you have. Aiden, get out! Make sure to drop a like and comment if I should be in the next video. Thanks! Sorry, he's the most annoying person in the world. 
Okay, then I'm taking my Blink and Electric Eyes palette. I don't know if you can get this. But... Also, drop to subscribe. And I'm just going to take a shadow brush, just cranberry shadow all over it right now. It's great. Okay, I'm just going to take this really nice light gold shade. And I'm just going to... So at that moment when you realize you put way too much concealer, you should probably set it. Okay, I'm just going to take a powder and set that concealer. I'm just going to pat that out because, but, oh, I just got concealer in my white powder. Okay, that better be set now. Okay, let's try that eyeshadow again. I have like concealer like right here. Also, these are like the most pigmented eyeshadows ever. I'm just going to take that dark brown again, and I'm just going to kind of make this a little bit more smoky, but also not smoky, it's like hard to explain. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. And I'm just going to take that warm color again and smoke it out a little bit. Pretty good for my first time. Okay. I make up time. Okay. No. I just. Okay. Face makeup. Where is my family? I brought out a tiny mini one, didn't I? Because I can't. Freaking. Lose a free foundation. Uh, 
Oh, it's right. I'm trying to get my mom. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This one, well, I'm in the shade R230. And and this is a small size. It's a deluxe sample I got for free. I'm just gonna dot that all over my face with my makeup sponge. And this is like the most full coverage foundation I own, but it also isn't super cakey. It looks amazing. Okay, I need more. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna blend them in. I think that's my color, but it's probably not because there's no foundation in my color ever, so. Okay, it's like, the lighting is like really bad. Then I'm just taking my LA Pro Conceal. So I just put that where I wanted to highlight and where I needed it. And I do think makeup sponges are better be when it comes to face makeup because it's just easier to blend out and it doesn't get all streaky. I don't know why, but when other like famous YouTubers and stuff go to like do their foundation with brush and stuff, it looks like flawless now. I do it and it's like, what the heck did you do to your face? But makeup sponges are just better in my opinion. Okay, so under my eyes I'm just using my Bare Minerals Invisible Light Palette. With a small face brush and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. This is nice because it just like blurs. I will say it's better for the under eyes than it is for the rest of the face though. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my CoverGirl um, Professional Loose Powder. I'm in the shade Translucent Light. Just going to set my face with this.
you guys want any other specific eye makeup looks or something, you can just comment those down below. Sometimes I run out of ideas, so I just save stuff on Instagram, copy it. Okay. So next. Okay. So next, I'm taking my Elf Duo in the shade Saint Lucia, and I'm going to take the bronzer. I'm going a little bit more cool toned than usual, especially since this summer I usually go in with my physician's formula one. I'm going for a little bit more contoured than bronzed. Okay, next I'm just going to be taking some uh, this is backwards and I can't read it. I'm taking some makeup revolution the the matte blush and this is in the shade gloved. Sorry if you can hear my brother screaming. That was a lot. So this is just a uh, really like light pink and you can see that mine broke. Ugh, but too much on. So now I'm just going to be taking, I don't know if this is better with a shimmer fan brush or not because I haven't used it in a while. Okay, I'm going to take the Resistance Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Strip and I'm just going to take the top two rows because I use the other two rows for bronze. Sorry, my dog is barking like a crazy maniac. Do my brows. This video is just all over the place right now. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking my Winky Luxe Brow Pencil. And first I'm just going to be taking the spoolie. Brushing my brows up. And I'm just going to be doing my brows. I do like this brow pencil. I just wish it wasn't universal and it came in different shades because this is really cool toned and I like my brows being warm toned. This matches the blonde in my hair better. And though you can totally tell it's fake right now, but it looks better. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, then I'm just going to take that spoolie and just brush up my brows. And now I'm just going to finish the eye makeup. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Stila Magnificent Metals, the shade Kitten Karma. I'm just going to put the 
a little on my lid. Add a little glitter. There's no such thing as too much glitter. Oh my god, my eyes are like reflecting in the camera. <laughs> Sorry for my brother, he's screaming again. So now I'm just taking the NYX Fine Liquid Eyeliner. And there's like a huge lump in there. I probably should have silenced this, but it doesn't matter. The dog is screaming. Yeah, the dog's screaming. The dog's barking again. So I'm just gonna line my eyes first. That's like the worst liner I've ever done. <laughs> of course, everyone feels the need to be loud. Sucks. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now I'm just going to be taking. Now I'm just going to be taking the NYX Slim Eye Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Putting that in my water. gonna be taking a like small brush with the dark brown again actually I'm just gonna be mixing together those two browns because I can't choose which one I want to use put it Ooh. and I'm just gonna be taking the warm brown shake. This palette's too big for the camera. I'm going to be taking my shimmer strip and I'm just going to be taking the lightest shots to see if I can find an eyeshadow brush. Oh wait. I'm just going to be taking this one that is a mess and really, 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 really needs to be cleaned. And I'm just going to be taking the white. And Highlighting my inner corner. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that white on my brow bone. And in the picture, it looks like she's wearing like a really uber duper nude lip. So I'm going to be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo, and it's really, really warm toned, like, really light nude. <laughs> I forgot mascara. Yeah, I'm just taking this for a lash craft mascara.
definitely had better lashes. Okay, I cannot wear this mascara. Not good enough. Now I'm taking the Lancome Hypnos Mascara and hope that this one is better. Okay, maybe I'll wear lashes. I'm wearing my baby wispies <laughs> from Ardell. And I'm pretty sure these already have enough glue on them. And I'm not in the mood to put glue on them. So. That actually worked out better than I thought it would. Good enough. I have makeup all over my hand right now. I didn't even like swatch or anything either. It's just okay. Okay. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more of me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And comment down below what you would like to see next. And follow me on Instagram. It is Clobo101. Bye.